What is up, Turtle here, and today we are opening up the other Tag Team Powers Collection featuring the Espeon Deoxys Jumbo card. So we did open up the Umbreon Darkrai from last week, late last week. And uh, so we kind of did like a review slash op review and opening, and the TLDR of the review was, I think this is actually a very good product. The good product you have one of, I think the promos are really cool. I would say compared to you know the typical box with four packs one promo this is double that but the in addition to double like the pack selection the amount of promos you actually get seven promos so the promo package is really good and there's these kind of like hidden additional three that are non gx now the MSRP is $50, so that is definitely pretty pricey, especially when you only get eight packs. And you can, if you can find, I definitely try to find some kind of deal. Uh, Game Nerds, you can pick them up for 25% off, but the catch 22 there is they only sell it in packs of two. So that's you get the Umbreon, the Umbreon one and the Espeon for $75 or $76 shipped. So if there's like, you know, someone else that you can kind of split that cost with, I think that would be ideal. Uh, there might be other promotions to like Target or, or GameStop and stuff like that where you can get maybe like 20% off if you buy a certain amount, but obviously you have to buy more than as well. So for 25% off, I think this thing is a pretty good purchase considering the cool promos. But yeah, the only difference between the two is this jumbo card, which I'll just speak for myself. Yeah, jumbo cards are cool until like an hour later, it's like, all right, that's about, <laughs> that's about it. Pack selection, Evolution Sun and Moon, two Sword and Shield, which is nice. Sister Storm, Lost Thunder, and then two Cosmic Eclipse. And all right, let's go in this typical order. And let's begin, actually, don't, sorry, forgot about all these bad boys. We do have a cool Turtle Caracasa, actually, he's just okay. I definitely like these two alternate arts. Got the Alternate, 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 alternate art of the Eevee, and then a Regigigas as well. And okay, let's get into our first pack of evolutions. All right, for our first pack, we got Link, Charmeleon, Magikarp, a Ghastly, Growlithe is our reverse. And then just a B drill for our first pack. Uh, in the first time we opened one of these, we actually were really struggling to find a hit, but then we got a some a last pack of magic with a very good pull from Sword and Shield. If you haven't seen it, definitely recommend you check it out. I think it was posted Friday. All right, let's see. Stoutland is our reverse. And then a Beware. To be honest, I'm not even sure what we're looking for from Sun and Moon Base. Alright, on to Celestial Storm. Hoping for, let's say, one or two hits to call this a successful open. If we get some kind of one hit, but it's uh, like a full art or better, I will be very content. A Combuskin is our reverse, and just a Clay Doll. All right, Lost Thunder. Some pretty cool stuff in here. Let's get that Blacephalon, maybe. Still like Zero Aura. Unfortunately, due to you know all the stuff that's going on, I don't really consider these standard anymore. As uh, by the time we can actually play again, Venture Back's a pretty cool card. These will be out of rotation, most likely. Bruxish Silcoon, or at least we'll be focusing on post-rotation. All right, let's move on to our standard cards. A lot of great supporters in here. Caitlin, Cynthia, Malolana, Rosa. Got those secret character rares. Still a big fan of those. Those evolutions that buff each other up. A Golet. A Phantom is our reverse, and ooh, just a Lantern. So far, very little. This is starting to feel very much like the last opening, 
And as long as it, if, if we can have the same exact outcome, I will be very happy. But, or we can just hit a good hit right here and get that out of the way. Guzma, hello? Oh, we were talking about on uh, stream the other night. Dragonium Z, and then a wishy washy hollow that the, uh, all the full art supporters, the full art varieties have really cool arts, but the regular arts, man, they, it's, um, and some of the other cards in this set, like the Reshiram, the full art, or like just, yeah, the full art version, probably like the best art I've seen in quite some time, and, but then the regular art, uh, Tag support tag team supporters is basically copy and paste. So this set was all over the place as far as the quality of the art. All right, come on, let's get at least something. Lucky egg. And ooh, okay, Torkoal V. We got something, and we got another turtle. Uh, I've been trying to use. I used to try to use Torkoal V in my Meowth deck for a while. It never did anything. So Torkoal is a bit of a disappointment, but I'm always happy to pull another turtle. All right, last pack. Can we get a repeat, get a super home run pull on the last pack? Here we go. Great ball, Lanoon, Rooftop Bike, Yepert Krabby, Cupent, Baltoy, Salandit, a Pokemon Center Lady, and here we go. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you do enjoy the channel, please like and subscribe. I'm Wanna Turtle. Ooh, Frostmoth is not bad. Put this over here. And I'll catch you guys next time.